All right, hey there traders. Today is March 27th, 2018. And let's go over the trade that we had today in TOPS. The market overall today had some really good opportunities, but the open only gave us a few names to watch and play with. Uh, we were watching GERN for a, possibly a continuation breakout, but most likely a breakdown after it had been up for so many days, topping pattern around 650 or so. Um, instead, uh, we weren't able to play GRN. It swung around a bit. Uh, I took a shot, I think, short early on, um, and then it just moved sideways for the majority of the day. Uh, NSPR was another stock very similar to TOPS in this fashion where it just spiked up and it was looking to come back down. Unfortunately, there were no shorts available for me on my center point platform, uh, but that was another very positive uh, stock to trade. Uh, another one of those uh, quote unquote garbage stocks that has been down forever and spikes up and is ready to come back down again. And then DBX, obviously the Dropbox IPO here that we uh, identified in the pre-market session, uh, there, there was a bull flag pattern that we were looking into. Um, so it, TOPS wasn't in the pre-market. Um, it was on watch for me, but the volume was pretty low in the pre-market, as you can tell by all of the dashes and, um, and really low movement in the pre-market session there. Um, but then as the morning opened up, we were able to find an opportunity in TOPS now, I'll show you in a, here in a second. Let me just get this. So this is the uh, chart, for those of you who don't know what this is. This is the chart from the broker platform. Uh, and these are my entries short, the red can, the red uh, arrows, and the green are profit taking. Um, now, beautiful trade in TOPS. Let's go over TOPS in general. Higher time frame, always looking at the top down analysis. Scroll in this chart all the way back, you can see it's had some splits over and over and over again. TOPS here, dry shipping company, um, has been on a tear downwards as far as uh, I can remember. I mean, ever since uh, it, it opened up, basically, it's been moving down. So that gives us a really nice bias, that bias to the downside. Now, zooming in to where we, we are today, you can see that we did have on TOPS, uh, a very famous move here. This was uh, just the late stage there of 2017. I remember watching this thing explode. It went all the way up from where it was around $3 or $4. And it went up to like 35 bucks. And that was a wild move there for TOPS. I still remember playing that one. Uh, and ever since then, it's been just on a tear downward, you know, and this thing is bearish. And I don't think anybody would argue that this thing is bearish. And so what I was looking for today, now that we had some increasing buying volume coming in, relatively high volume, we had some range going, the stock opened up. Let me just show you here the five minute. Uh, the stock in the pre-market was pretty slow, not much volume here at all. You can see very, very little volume. And uh, then at the open, that's when we started getting that spike in volume. And then by 10 a.m., this thing had already crossed a previous LVN that we had drawn at 264 and we were looking in the order flow for a place to get in short. We dropped down to the one minute and on the one minute I managed to grab the top of this trade uh, and this is all thanks to the order flow. The fact that I was able to grab this all the way up here, all the way at the top short was only because of the techniques that we use in order flow analysis and the techniques that we use in market auction theory, allowing us to expect a reaction, a specific point on the chart for specific reasons, and then only us reacting or reacting to that action that is happening in the order flow. We can see the buyers and sellers. We know what to look for. And uh, anyway, it led to picking a really beautiful spot there to get in short. And then we had that pullback move always looking for that secondary pullback move, that buyer failure to tell us, hey, buyers do not have the steam it takes in order to get over the next high, the previous high, I should say. And the order flow gave us a really brilliant opportunity. We had, I think, 34,000 sellers coming in at the top of this pullback here. And that was um, the, the cue there to add into the position and hold. So 
price coming down, hitting the VWAP. Um, let me see what price we read here. I believe it was 250. Yeah, exactly. It was 250 that we were looking at here. As price reached 250, as price reached the VWAP, we saw a bit of a reaction. So took a little bit of the profits there and then held. Again, catching the very bottom of the trade. This is not magic. This is not something that, uh, like I'm not cheating here. Uh, using order flow analysis and our volume analysis, market auction theory, to identify these spots on the chart. And I do it live in the room every day for you guys. So if you're a member at Active Traders and you've gone through the training, we have hours and hours of training online. I highly recommend you go through all that, all that training if you haven't finished it yet. Um, and you will fully understand exactly why we picked these ones when I'm talking about it in the live room. So the idea was that we were waiting for tops to come break under the VWAP, give the VWAP another shot here, another opportunity, melt down from the VWAP and continue lower for the rest of the day. Now, unfortunately, while I, um, I was down to a position size where I was comfortable holding, um, I was, uh, not really thinking that it was pr it was going to happen today, uh, only because it broke through yesterday's high of day with a lot of force. And you can see that when we returned to this level, there was a bit of a flag pattern breakout to the upside that ended up breaking the VWAP. That, in my eyes, is a very strong signal that the buyers here are not done yet, that they still have a score to settle, and they're still interested in buying up at lower prices. So buyer accumulation happening. You can see it in the order flow. You can feel it in the order flow. And um, we were looking for um, basically a hail, hail Mary play to the downside. But because of that, I ended up taking up, taking most of my profits off at the very bottom, looking to hold for a possible breakdown to 220 to be exact. So anyway, that was the trade for today on TOPS, but you can see the bias, number one, the bias was down, as you can see on the daily. We had drawn in our levels, 264 being a major LVN cliff that we were looking for price to attempt to break through. If it didn't break through, we were looking to get into a short position based off of that move. We did exactly that. Then looking at the medium uh, level time frame here at, at the five minute or lower level time, level time frame, I guess you would call it. Um, we were looking at the previous day's high broken and then tested again and broken out above. So this is all giving us clues as to what the, what the struggle between buyers and sellers is like on that specific day. Uh, and then down to the one minute, we were looking at the very micro of the trades, looking for the order flow confirmations and looking for um, the distributions of volume to hint towards us as to what price might do when it does reach a certain price level. So that's it for today. Uh, TOPS was the main trade of the day. Um, did really well, really happy with how we traded. And I know a couple other traders in the room uh, managed to catch this based on some of our conversations and discussions in the live room. All right, guys. And if you're not a member at Active Traders yet, you can head over to activetraders.chat. You can hit the Get Started button um, and you'll get access to our Discord for free. Uh, but then you'll also get access to our members area features um, that includes the live day trading channel, uh, the live trading calls channel, where I talk about my entries and exits every single day. Uh, we have the daily trade recaps, training webinars, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, all that sorts of stuff. And we also have hours and hours of training at activetraders.chat. So when you do have a moment, head over activetraders.chat and uh, hope to see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time for the members HD live stream.